Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new make sure you subscribe that way you'll never miss out on another pick a card reading. I do one on my channel every single Friday. All right, so we're already heading into October. Today's pick a card reading is October energy. October 1st is my birthday so I'm really excited. Um, this is going to be a very different kind of a birthday for me but I'm still really grateful and excited for it. So. If you guys have birthdays in October comment down below let me know um, what I need you to do is pick a card pile number or a color element that you are drawn to so you're going to pick card pile number one or white card pile number two or rainbow card pile number three or burgundy or card pile number four magenta so go ahead and look them over, follow your intuition, listen to your gut, whichever color sparks something within you, that's the one that you're going to pick. Before I get started, I do want to mention some quick shop updates. I haven't done one of these in a little while, but I do have new products out in my shop. I also wanna mention if you purchase from my shop, just be a little bit patient with shipping. We are just two people. I charge my items before sending them out. We then package them and we ship them out um, and I don't mass produce. I make small batches just because I put a lot of energy into it and I charge them and yeah. So I do wanna mention a few products that are up in the shop really quickly. Um, these Hamsa hand bracelets, they are up and they are charged and ready to go. You can see photos of how I charged it on Etsy. Also I have um, Shiva Shakti, Kori shell and Shiva Lingam stone kit. This is great for healing relationships, both with yourself and with your significant other. I also am so excited that I finally have these back in stock. These are Yantra necklaces. And if you guys wanna see the length, that's kind of the length of it. And these are up in my shop as well. All of these items are charged with Shiva energy. I've been working with Shiva energy a lot lately um, and my favorite. This is my newest Shiva oil. So this is for a third eye, this is for meditation, this is for protection, this is for strength, willpower, courage, um, and euphoria. So head to my shop if you guys are interested in any of those items, but let's start with the reading. All right, for everybody that picked card pile number one or the white color, let's go ahead and see what does October look like for you. Okay, it seems like October is gonna be a very spiritual month for you. A lot of you are gonna see fast-paced movement. Uh, with the Knight of Swords here, this is movement. This is fast momentum. Like, this is something happening quick. So, Expect that kind of energy to come in October where something that you've been maybe trying to manifest or something you've been waiting to go through it or something that you have been waiting to go through or like that was on hold that might find resolve. Um, you have three different cards here that are symbolizing celebration. So something you're going to be celebrating in October and I see a really good energy, like um, accomplishment and achievement, whether this be in your physical world, in your physical reality, like you achieving a job, a pregnancy, a car, a house, or it could be spiritually where you achieve a new level of spirituality, a new level of wisdom. Something definitely is coming in for you guys where you achieve something. So get excited because you're gonna be celebrating. I know we are still under lockdown and quarantine and we have to practice, you know, um, social distancing and wearing masks and stuff. But I see a lot of you guys in September or October just really celebrating with the people that are closest to you, that you really love. It's, oh, it's a month of celebration for you. We have the Six of Wands, which is public recognition. It's accomplishments. It's, you know, getting recognized for something and getting praised. It could also mean a promotion. It's basically leveling up, raising your vibration, and people see it, people notice it. Um, and then we also have Ten of Cups, which is celebration again. It's manifestation, achievement, plenty, abundance. Um, it's, it's asked, like the, the spirits are asking you to, 
in October, focus on celebrating, focus on celebration, focus on um, having fun and focus on just quality time with loved ones. That's a lot of the energy that's, that is coming through for October for you guys. We also have the Three of Cups celebration. Three of Cups is all about celebration. Um, a new horizon, you know, new adventures, but fast paced. October is going to be fast paced for a lot of you. Now, when we head to the next side of your reading, we have facing your fears. So in October, you're going to be asked, and a lot of you, I see that this is spiritual and I, and I feel like I want to say, pay attention to your dreams. If you have like really weird, bizarre dreams, especially of like your own body and like stuff happening to your body, pay attention to that and, and look it up right after you, you know, wake up because it's almost always your subconscious or your, your higher self speaking to you, telling you something. And in October, a lot of you I see are going to be getting rid of some kind of a fear and There's so much, okay. You're gonna be getting rid of some kind of a fear, something that was holding you back. This could have been like an actual like fear of spiders that was like driving you nuts or really embarrassing you. <clears throat> or it could be like a, an, a fear that had been planted in your mind when you were a child. It could, this fear could go real deep or it could be just like fears of everyday things sometimes. Um, that's something you're really going to deal with, not deal with, but you're really going to heal and get rid of in October. Um, and I do see that it was something that was making you very serious. This fear, whether it was small or big, was making you, it was um, making you look at life very, very seriously. And it was holding you back. So in October, I see a lot of you guys, that's why you were so drawn to the color white. I, I, I understand how this reading is coming together. Um, whatever that was that made you look at life so seriously, um, expect to feel the opposite in October. You're going to feel more lighthearted, more fun, more childlike, more like just in the celebration mood. Um, and then the last two cards we have is cloves for gossip and the color black to find richness from the dark night. This fear, whether it was big or small, was actually, it was affecting your life and probably even like your job, your money, finances, like whatever it was, it was affecting different areas of your life, made you look at life so seriously. And I feel like the reason you're going to face the fear and like dominate the fear, control it, is because you saw the darkness of it, you saw what it did to you, you saw, and also I see a lot of you f actually facing it, like you're just so sick and tired of it, you're like, you know what, I've been so scared to do this all my life, it's been holding me down, holding me back so much, I'm just gonna do it, like you just do it. Like for me, uh, my biggest thing was uh, getting into the water, deep water. One day I just got so tired of being embarrassed and like everybody else looks like they're having fun and I'm over here like so scared to get in the water and I just did it. I took a few shots, not gonna lie, and I did it. But I do feel a lot of you guys are going to be facing your fears and just doing it. Like you're just gonna be like, it's, I can't be paralyzed by this anymore. And it's going to cause you to lighten up and your life is going to feel more deeper, more rich. Like it says, find richness from the dark night. And that's what you guys have done. October is the perfect month for all of this to come to conclusion so that you can start enjoying your life. And cloves. Okay. I have a video. I know a lot of you guys know the video of the red candle with the cloves in it. If you put, if you put cloves in a red candle, that's actually very good for eliminating negative energy that other people have sent your way, maybe evil eye or whatever. So in October, just protect yourself from evil eye. You know, when you go out to the grocery store or whatever, when you come back home, cleanse yourself, sage yourself. Cloves is your herb of the month. Use cloves, work with cloves, clove tea, cook with cloves. Cloves will really help you eliminate a lot of gossip 
and evil eye and drama and all that stuff. So that was your reading group number one. October looks really promising and really, really light. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this reading and I'll talk to you later. Bye! For everybody that picked card pile number two or the rainbow card. Okay, this October 2020 it's a transformation for you guys and it's a really good one it's a much needed one where you are able to release something from the past we're gonna start off with six of cups if you see here this man is like reminiscing about something thinking about something in the past and here's there's a few different messages that this card brings so i feel like it some of you may resonate with one and some of you may resonate with the other one one is you're too much stuck in the past you're, you're always thinking about the past constantly going over it in your head um clinging on to it just um longing for it you know kind of stuck in the past and that's not a good thing because you know, that creates stagnant energy, that creates delays in, in roadblocks and all that stuff. So that's not good. Um, and for a lot of you, this is something where you get to... You get to walk down memory lane. Like, for some... I don't know why I keep thinking, like, maybe some of you guys are going to find old photos or be going through old photos. But October is a time where a lot of you are going to be reminiscing um you know maybe talking about your ancestors learning about your ancestors um you know just uncovering a lot of things about the past you know your family history your lineage your ancestor all that stuff um yeah i see that coming in for a lot of you guys and right next to that is the nine of cups there's a lot of cups here Nine of Cups energy is a very unique and special wish fulfilled. So expect that in October. Nine of Cups is um, just very blissful energy. It's, um, it's, you know how when you take that sigh of relief? That's kind of what the Nine of Cups is. So in October, I feel like that's a lot of your guys' energy. Uh, it's just a sigh of like just relief and like, Whew, I, like I felt it right there. Um, yeah, so I expect that energy to come in too. And then right underneath the Six of Cups, we have Two of Cups. Okay, so for a lot of you, I see relationships healing. This could be a reason why you go down memory lane. Um, you talk about the past maybe. A lot of you are healing either like a um, romantic relationship or a relationship with a family member in October. And it's going to be very, very beautiful. And there's a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of wisdom coming in in October. We have the owl, which is the bearer of wisdom. He brings knowledge, he brings truth. So that's really interesting because it's like you're on a journey. I feel like a lot of you guys have already started this journey. Reminiscing, thinking about the past, maybe some of you are way too much stuck in the past. Um, and you know, I feel like maybe it was hard for you to let go of that memory or that time of your life or that hurt, you know, whatever it is that is constantly gripping your mind and your heart. It's okay. Like, don't be so hard on yourself for it. Don't punish yourself for it. Don't suppress it. Don't ignore it. You gotta just let it come and, and deal with it and heal it and think about it journal about it talk about it with somebody um but don't keep that in anymore because i feel like a lot of you guys are keeping it in and it's just your past is gripped onto you it could it could have been a memory could have been a time of your life a relationship you know whatever a, a lifestyle you had or whatever it was but through that time you spent with all of that in your head you actually healed a lot without even knowing it. So in October, that's why this healing that occurred within you, that is actually occurring within you right now, it's going to show you manifestations in your physical world. October is going to be a very loving month for you. Yeah, the, your reading is 
it's creating this like very exciting feeling in me. Um, we have the Sun of Swords. This is, um, what is the Sun of Swords? It's Page of Swords. So again, this is you're currently healing. And you don't even know it. A lot of you don't even know it. You just think that, you know, your life is turned upside down or you don't know why you feel certain ways. You don't know why you get certain dreams. Um, but it's because you're healing. A lot of you are healing. And it's it's coming in fast. Because we have the Wheel of Fortune card. Wheels are turning. And that's why some of you guys maybe sometimes like get in a bad mood for no reason or just snap for no reason or just get sad for no reason and it's just because your inner self your subconscious deep within you it's healing and i think that's so beautiful so don't like don't punish yourself for being stuck in the past because i feel like it was kind of like needed in your journey the wheel of fortune card now in october you guys are going to get very curious about more to life. You may want to study something more. You, you may want to dive into your spirituality more. You may want to study the occult. You may want to study Hinduism. You like something's going to you're going to want to know more. You have this newfound excitement, newfound passion for life and October is the perfect month for you to start that journey and that's where you're going to start it with the wheel card. Um, a cycle of your life is, is ending with this healing. It's, it's a cycle of your life ending. It, you know, um, you, you, you're now heading towards a change that's going to bring you stability in your mind and your foundation. Um, you know, An another thing that I see with the wheel card, also the owl right here is you're going to speak your truth in a relationship. So a lot of you, maybe it's something you've been holding in that in October, you're finally going to speak about it. You're going to gain the courage to finally like talk about it. A lot of you, uh, relationships, you're going to speak your truth, set your boundaries and all that stuff in October. You know, you're going to let, if you guys have partners and maybe you guys have been struggling or in tension or fighting, arguing, whatever, you're finally going to let it be known that like there's going to like you're going to speak up and it's it's because you're healing and and there's going to be healing happening all around you and you're just you're going to speak up when you're healing you don't take nothing you don't take you know you you speak your truth at that point you don't care like healing is a crazy process sometimes healing hurts you know because it brings up stuff that you've been suppressing so at that moment you're just like, I need to speak my truth. And that's something that the wheel card brings in. So in, in October, you're going to be speaking your mind and not afraid to. Um, also, the wheel is a symbol of a new chapter in your life starting. Uh, important decisions to be made. And the more it's you're taking your power back. And your path becomes more and more clearer the more and more you take your power back. Now, the, the next step or the next part of your reading, it's very, very cute. Like, that's the word I can describe it. it okay, so let's start. We have the childlike devotion and then we have memories. For a lot of you, this is going to transform into something very good where you're going to pick out the good times and the happy times and, you know, the silly times. And you're going to start not taking life so seriously anymore. So childlike devotion. In October, a lot of you guys are going to be doing childlike things. Laughing, playing, having fun, exploring, getting curious, you know? That's an energy that's coming in October. I'll, another thing I see for you guys is you guys, a lot of you want to create more, better memories for yourself. You want to focus on creating happier memories. You want to have photos and artwork and hobby like crafts and stuff that you made in such good positive energy and you want to create those memories like you want you want to actually work with memories be it in your head or be it creating memories so rosemary is your herb for october use rosemary in your tea your cooking your candles your spell work you know 
Um, rosemary is really, really good for divination, opening your third eye, creativity, your memories, your mind. Um, rosemary is also a very powerful feminine herb for like for the divine feminine energy to be dominant, if that makes sense. Um, and the last card we have here is rainbow, connect to spirit in nature. Rainbow, your chakras are going to be aligned in October. So you're going to feel good, balanced. You're going to feel you're going to feel really good um, and connect to spirit through nature. So get out in nature. Even I know we have social distancing and quarantine and lockdown, but get out in nature safely. Social distancing, wear a mask, but get out in nature. And, you know, I feel like you have been so much in your head that in October you're going to get outside of your head and explore nature and like maybe, I don't know, take up gardening or get a rosemary plant and like grow rosemary, I don't know. Um, but it's definitely gonna bring out this childlike nature in you that is gonna help you connect to your past in a po more positive way. And that's because of the healing that's going on. So that was your reading, that was kind of like a long one. Yeah, that was a t almost 11 minute reading. Okay, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you real soon. Hello to everybody that picked card pile number three or burgundy. All right, October looks like a really good month for you. Like, we have some good news coming, some good energy coming, some like advice from spirits, some really good stuff going on for you guys uh, in October. So starting off, we have the Fool. So this is a brand new journey, a new chapter, something new coming in, new version of yourself, new house, new job, new car, I don't know, new diet or something. Something new is coming for you in October and it's going to bring you immense joy. We have the sun right next to the fool. You're starting a new chapter and if you guys have been like thinking about starting something new or like looking for confirmation or, or go like on the fence back and forth, this is, yes, this is the yes, go, go for it, yes. Um, this is your confirmation, this is your sign. This new thing that you wanna start, this new journey you wanna begin, this is going to bring you so much happiness. Okay, and then we have here blend into the environment. So you have many skills and can fit into any situation, hence why we have the octopus. Uh, take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So I think this is where you're, you're being asked in October to really look at your environment. Like you can accomplish and do a lot more than you give yourself credit for. You have a lot of talents and skills and stuff that you downplay, that you just think, oh, you know, it's no big deal, I can do that. And, you know, you, it, it could be that you make like the most bomb lasagna and you're just like, oh, whatever, like it's, I just follow a recipe. But it's really, it's your creation, your energy goes into it, your intention goes into it, your love goes into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't even have to be lasagna. It could be that you are really, really good at gardening. You have a green thumb and you just think it's not a big deal. So something, and I don't think it's just one thing. A lot of you are good at so many things that you downplay. And in this new chapter of your life, you're not gonna downplay the things you're good at anymore. I feel like your, your spirit uh, is pushing through barriers that you put on yourself you know I feel like your subconscious is pushing through those barriers hence why you're going to be in this new journey where you choose happiness and you choose to accentuate what you're good at um, yeah that's that's really really good that's very powerful actually the five of cups for too long you've been uh, crying over spilt milk five of cups is where you know, you have a few cups that are full and then you have a few that just spilled or got damaged or whatever. But you're paying attention to those few that are damaged and spoiled. And I think that that was something you struggle with for a long time where you kind of just pay attention to the bad things, the negative things, what went wrong, you know. Um, 
but that's a period of your life that also your spirit is fighting to eliminate like your spirit I, I feel like there's battle going on inside you um, but it's all for this new journey where you're just gonna live in your own truth which you really really need because you're very talented you're so good at so many things but you you just I don't know maybe you feel like if you you might hurt somebody's feelings because you're good at something or you're embarrassed at what you're good at. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it is making you hide pieces of yourself. Um, okay, another thing I did want to mention is you have the Nine of Pentacles twice. So what is the Nine of Pentacles? Remember you got this twice, okay? So this is amplified double the energy. It's material benefits coming in. It's abundance coming in. Hard work and you, you were determined at something and you worked real hard at something and you're going to reap the benefits big time in October. This is like big money coming in, big abundance coming in, something big is coming in. And October, the spirits are saying with these two cards, you better enjoy October because they're going to bless you. And yeah, it's, that's such a powerful thing that you got the Nine of Pentacles twice and you got the world. The world is basically the world at your fingertips. It is manifestation and success and achievement. The world at your feet. And then we have the Five of uh, Wands. Five of Wands is energy. Very strong, intense energy. Lots of energy. And you need to direct that energy into the right direction. So in October, make sure that you are directing all of your energy and focus where you feed your energy, where you are focusing, you know, what kinds of things are you watching? What kinds of things are you listening to? What kind of conversations are you having? What are you doing with your free time? Just make sure that you are directing all of this energy because you're gonna have a lot of energy, a lot of good energy, high vibration energy. You want to be directing it towards stuff you want to manifest, the life you want to manifest, you know, healing, protection, like do all your spiritual work in October. Um, another thing is when we move over to this side of your reading, October is a extremely lovely month for you guys when it comes to love. If you guys are not in a relationship, I see a lot of you meeting like a very, very romantic, intimate, deep relationship. That's what I see in October. Now, if you are in a relationship, I see a lot of you connecting to your partner, deep, romantic, um, luxurious, romantic, like just very intimate. We have the rose, which is all about romance. Another thing is rose is your herb of the month. So in October, you a lot of you may connect to roses a lot more. Roses raise the vibration. They uplift you. They're romantic. They're sensual. They're exotic. Like There's so many energies that come with the rose. So you guys can work with the rose in October and it would really benefit you, especially in romance. But if you guys are in relationships, I see a lot of romance building up for a lot of you. And we have three red cards next to each other. This is a good month for you. You guys better enjoy it because your spirit guides are going to bless the shit out of you in October. Cherry, live an extraordinary life. Burgundy, awaken your passion. It, I'm telling you, if you guys are in a relationship, at the beginning of the month, do something with roses. As simple as getting rose incense, rose candles, getting roses and putting it in your house. Something with roses, rose scented perfume, and just just watch the energy because I just I really want you guys to test these herbs out for yourself because they are so powerful. So use roses and then come back and comment what happens. Because it's gonna be very special because I mean I don't even know what to say about this reading. It's like the best reading that you could ever get. You're, you're manifesting, you're gonna be so happy. It, there's a new chapter coming in. You know, you're living your truth, your authentic self. Um, good news coming in, so much positive energy that you can work with to do whatever you want. So be careful not to spend that on negativity. And love is going to be very rich, very deep 
intimate, hot, erotic, passionate. So you guys are real lucky in October. And that is your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right, for everybody that picked card group number four or the magenta color, your reading is intense. Okay, a lot of you are going through something right now. Something that may be kind of like your world is being turned upside down. You feel like you're being split open, like cracked open. A lot of you guys, I'm getting that energy that you're going through it. Um, and I think that the spirits want you to know that it's because it, there's a clearing of excess. There's a clearing happening. And that's usually why we feel like that. And like usually sometimes in our life, things fall apart or, you know, just whatever struggle or roadblocks come up or challenges, you know, we, we say, why me? Or like, why is this happening? Um, we don't understand the deeper meaning behind it or whatever, you know, but it is a clearing that is happening. Um, you're entering a transitional phase and would benefit from clearing away excess clutter, whether it's in your physical body or your physical space. That's really interesting because I, okay, so first of all, before we head to this card, we have the tower. So the tower is all of that. It's like an awakening. It's when your Kundalini starts to awaken. Your chakras start to awaken one by one. And sometimes it's not the most pleasant feeling. Um, it's with the tower. I feel like a lot of your old beliefs are changing a lot of them, like the way you lived your life, the way you practiced certain things, the way you eat, the way you dress, like an old belief is changing and therefore there's a lot of things changing in your life because of that. That's what the tower card brings. It kind of um, like helps you see what it, what are the illusions. Um, it breaks false values and false beliefs. Um, and with the tower card comes something very special, which is you start to question what is right for you. And you start to abandon what's not right for you. And sometimes the universe pulls it away from you. Like what the things that you don't align with, the things that are just not on the same vibrational level as you, you know, the things that might be bringing you down, well, eventually, if you don't get rid of these things, then the universe will get rid of them naturally because it just there's no vibrational match. Um, but you just are, keep clinging on. And this could be like a, a false belief, you know, an old belief. It could be a toxic relationship, a toxic job. Um, there's so many things, you know. Um, the Tower card is also um, a lot of questioning. So you're just going to be like questioning your own thoughts, questioning your own needs and your own ideas and like your own values. It's, it's a lot of self work, self reflection that you're going through. And I feel like the spirit world wants you to know through the cards that it is because there's a clearing happening and it's leading to a very beautiful energy, the world. We have the world right in the center of what is going on with you. It's like what I what I keep seeing is like you're um, like when you get a, a gift, right? And it's packed with a bunch of tissue paper. You got to pull out the tissue paper to get to the gift. I know that's probably a much better example, but that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, like you, you got to remove all the wrapping and the tissue paper to get to the gift, and that's what's happening with you. And in October you are here. So you're going to feel different in October. This tower energy, this shattering energy, you know, uh, the, the kind of challenging energy in October, it, it'll show you why it was there. It'll show you like what is there after the clearing. Um, and then we have three of cups, which is celebration. It's achievement. It's celebration. It's fun. And then we have four of cups. Four of Cups is what was preventing you from having fun, is you stuck in this energy right here, the tower energy, you know, you what you were going through. Now, Four of Cups, what you were going through, you, you kind of stopped being grateful for the things in your life. 
you know, you did have a lot of good things going for you, but you were too like confused or bored or just all up in your head to see any of it. You almost ignored your blessings. Um, and you're gonna see things from a new perspective. The lovers. I like this lovers card because it's not like the typical lovers, like man and woman. It's your relationship with yourself is healing big time in October. So you're gonna feel real good. You're gonna feel different. Hierophant, this is gonna lead you to connect with your own spirit, your ancestors, your spirit guides. A lot of you may see signs and symbols from your spirit guides or ancestors or um, a new like deity or a new energy that wants to work with you, a new energy that has connected with your new energy. So expect to see signs and symbols. Like for example, like uh, I know that some people say when Santa Muerte goes to them, they will see owls or like the Grim Reaper or you know, stuff that relates to her. Or if, if like say Kali is reaching out to you, you'll see a lot of skull, you know, you'll, you'll see yeah, skulls is, she's, I don't know what else you would see with Kali energy. You would see her image everywhere. You would see symbols of her, you know, but they'll reach out to you. So a lot of you guys are going to have your spirit guides or new energies reaching out to you. And that is because if you see the crow here, the crow is the link between our world and the spiritual world. It's holding a key, so I feel like you in October are going to have that key because of this tower moment that you have been going through. You, you're healing and you're clearing out things and it's going to lead you to unlock a lot of things within yourself where you can be grateful for the life that you're living, the blessings that you have, you can start enjoying them. You know? Then the next thing we have here is use sage, your herb of the month for October is sage. Purify and cleanse your space. Declutter, but also like use sage. And also when you are burning sage, please open a window or a door because you want the energy to go out. Even if it's just for a minute, just open it and just let the energy out and then close your door. So burn sage, sage tea, sage in your candle, sage oil. Um, and then we have the last two cards here, which is red, free yourself from pain which is exactly what's happening with you. So, you know, in October, um, you use these two colors, magenta and red, to uplift your energy, to create more passion in your life and just really good high vibration. You can use red candles, red decorations, red clothes, whatever. Um, free yourself from pain is a big theme of what's going on in your life right now. And in October, you feel that freeness from the pain. And then we have connect to your deepest inner knowing. You're connecting to yourself. We have the lover's card, her looking in the mirror, self. It's a lot of self-love, self-work, self-clearing, and self-happiness, self-spoiling, self-indulgence in October. It's a really, really good month for you guys too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.